Hey, good morning. I hope you're well. Early morning, six o'clock. Well, quarter to six, I think it is. Um, but it's so bright. Just look at this behind me. You can see the sunrise behind me. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. It's a bit cold, hence I've got my cardi and jacket on. My hands are frozen. Um, so. You know, isn't it wonderful how seasons change? And six weeks ago, eight weeks ago, the birds would be tweeting around about, just see the morning clipper going past. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, there's barges there, but you'll see it behind me in a minute. Um, you'll see it go, oh, just over my shoulder. So, um, yes, eight weeks ago, the, the birds would be tweeting around, I guess, six o'clock, half five. Now they're tweeting at four o'clock in the morning. Bloody nuisance. So, anyway, nature's way of monitoring things. Now, there it goes. You can see that just over my shoulder. People commuting by boat on the, on the um, Uber taxi. Um, monitoring so crucial as a diabetic um, I've been lucky enough to persuade after five years of battling with my GP to be allow me to have these um, sensors patches whatever you want to call them and it's been a massive transformation for me in how I control my diabetes traditional way has been to uh, draw blood prick my finger draw blood put it on these little strips which incidentally were around about 70 to 75 pounds a, um, a pack and I needed I was lucky enough my doctor uh, was allowed me to have two packs all right and so I would monitor my blood sugars through testing three maybe four times a day now what it kind of indicated now I'm wearing these sensors 24-hour sensors is that when um, let me start again what it was indicating was the uh, the blood sugar spike at different times of the day and when I was testing it was actually the wrong time of the day so I would test first thing in the morning before breakfast lunchtime and sometimes before meal sometimes after the meal and the averages would uh, would that you would play out on the averages and take your medication based on that totally wrong totally wrong what the sensor has indicated is that yes your blood sugar is spying but when I was testing I was testing it at the peak of those um, spines and based on that result I would then take my insulin what in fact it showed oh, there's a return of the other ferry going the other way or the uber boat what it showed was that I was taking um, overdosing myself on insulin and what that's meant over time is I've desensitized to the insulin I was taking having this 24-hour monitoring system I'm now um, able to reduce uh, the amount of uh, insulin I was taking prior to this and when it starts to peak I go for a walk uh, if I'm working I'll just step away from my desk and go for a 10 minute brisk walk and um, and control it that way through a movement exercise in, in respect to that I still take my insulin but not as much as I used to and my body seems to be reacting in a positive way Mentally, I feel great, um, and medication, um, the, the medications I'm taking is also now under review. So there's an importance of monitoring uh, things accurately. And that brings me on to this other company that I'm aligned with. For years, I've been looking for something that could help me rather than be dependent on medications and you know over the last 30 years I've come across several companies unfortunately 
the companies will come and go. You know, the products will be great or there'll be something wrong and they'll disappear. And then you're constantly on the look for something that would work on you. Now, based on that, that's had an effect on me as well, health-wise. And if you can't control your diabetes, then diabetes is a gateway to many, many health issues. Um, and so over the years I've developed high blood pressure, I've had several strokes, um, I've had heart issues, um, and in 2019 it ended up me having uh, an angiogram. As it happens, this particular journey, I believe, has been faith-led. Okay. The reason why I say this is because in 2019, after years of declining uh, health, I finally managed to convince my doctor that um, I needed um, something investigated. And uh, see, the doctors have a, a what I call an onion way of examining things. They peel layers away one at a time to try and get to the root cause. And in my case, I ended up having an angiogram. Now, the angiogram showed that I had 95% blockage, and I had several blockages, and one of them happened to be in something called, it has a nickname, called the Widowmaker, and I was blocked at 95%. And the consultant in charge uh, screwed up, and he said there was nothing wrong with me. Maybe he was reading somebody else's report and talking to me, I don't know. But he certainly did mess up in a big way. As it happens, talking about faith, faith led, a week, 10 days later, I came across this naughty company. And they have an independent blood test that they perform uh, for somebody who starts the journey on their nutritional products. And then they do another test 120 days later. As it happens, for me, that happened that I had an angiogram, a blood test with this Nordic company, and because of the mess up with the consult, I ended up having a second angiogram, which was about 160 days late, 120, 160 days later. In that time, what it showed was my blockages went from 95% to 50%. Amazing. Nonetheless, I still ended up having a triple bypass um, and I'm lucky enough to be stood here to be able to share the story with you. So, when I did the test with this Nordic company, Scandinavian company, uh, they had performed 300,000 tests. Today they're close to 1.5, 1.6 million tests. And in that journey, in the history of this particular company, I believe I'm the only one that's managed to have an angiogram, a test, a second angiogram, and another test. Both the tests are independent, and on top of that, either side of that have I have had an angiogram. And for me, the products worked, and you can see that in these two different tests. Okay. Now, health changes. You need to be on top of your health. And what tends to happen more often than not is that we develop symptoms and then we rush off to a GP and they start this onion uh, de-layering, de peeling back the layers. Um, of trying to find out what's wrong and often it's too late the NHS system is broken it is uh, and you know people talk about you know just going off the rail here people talk about um, the NHS is underfunded they drive into the political reason the real reason why it's broken is because the food the food industry are responsible for making people ill all right, as we and the more we look at this, more and more people are becoming ill due to what's been uh, given to them through the food industries. Forget about the politics, 
forget about this party, that party, you're going to put millions in. And they will keep putting millions in. But the reality is, what you put inside you makes a difference to where your health's going to be. All right. So you need to take control. Um, when I stopped using these nutritional products, because the blood report from the NHS said that I had zero risk of having a cardiac event. I kind of went with the sway and I stopped using the products. A year later, I ended up having a heart attack and a stroke. Funny enough, two, two months prior to that, I did a blood test with the Scandinavian company, which showed my omega-3 index, and you need to look at this if you're diabetic, have a heart condition why you need to measure your omega-3 index. Go on to PubMed, go on to Google Scholar, and there's a lot of information about that. It showed that my omega-3 index was in a terrible, terrible place. It reverted back within nine months, 10 months, which led to me having a heart attack and a stroke. Naturally, I'm back on the products and I feel 100% better um, I've recovered really fast and so what I'm advocating for people to do using my story is to get people to understand the importance of monitoring it is crucial to your wellness it's crucial to your well-being if you're diabetic get yourself on the sensor if you're on medica uh, medication for heart and, and cholesterol and blood pressure and whatever you need to urge your doctor to find out what's causing that. You might need to take control of that. And without making claims to any anything medical or whatever, all I'm saying to you is that, look, constant monitoring, constant, constant monitoring of what's happening to you is crucial in your recovery to your wellness. Now, I'm happy to have a conversation with anyone, share my information, my journey, and, um, you know, what I've found over the last few years is that the more I've shared my journey with people, a lot of um, health practitioners, nutritionalists have come out of the woodwork and challenged me on that. And what naturally happens over that time when we have that conversation, they suddenly realize they've had to update their information when they've gone back and checked with PubMed or uh, Google Scholar and they've done their own reviews. A lot of times these people, so-called professionals, um, need a serious wake-up call because what they're doing is operating from uh, of, of the information they had maybe 10 years ago. Right, and listen, this is not aimed at anyone, but I'm just sharing the facts as they are. We need to take control of our health we need to find out for ourselves and don't take somebody else's opinion as gospel. Whether they're medically trained or whatever they're, you know, and I've got so many people from nutritional backgrounds, fitness, various different things have now aligned when they've looked at the new data, new information. You need to update yourself. I hope that was useful. There's a plane's taking off. And so if you need any help, need any advice, need any guidance, listen, I'm here to help. Wishing you a great day as the plane drowns me out. Have a wonderful day. Take care. God bless.